Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll tell you how to see calculator history on iPhone. Have you also faced this when you previously did an important calculation but now can't find the calculator history on your iPhone? The native calculator app on the iPhone is simple to use but it doesn't save your calculator history due to privacy concern. By default, you can only retry the calculation history for the current session. Once you close the app, all the calculations are erased. So you may wonder how you can see the calculator history on your iPhone. But you know here, I'll show you some quick methods to check and manage your previous calculation history but first subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and hit the like button so let's start the video without wasting any time default calculator app offers a handy shortcut to see and copy the result of your last calculation even after you have closed the app the first step is using copy last result option locate the calculator app on the home screen and then tap and hold the calculator app icon then select copy last result now paste the value in your note and you are done you may also access the copy last result shortcut from the control center for that open settings scroll down and then go to control center next scroll down and then tap on the plus icon next to calculator now access the control center and then tap on the calculator icon and then select copy last result and you are done and the next step is using memory function iphone's default calculator app seems very basic but it offers an advanced scientific calculator with a built-in memory function you must unlock the ported mode from the control center and use the calculator app in the landscape mode for this open the control center and then unlock the portrait orientation next open the calculator app and then rotate your iphone to access scientific mode next do a calculation and then tap the m plus button to save the result to memory to access the saved number, select the MR button. If you no longer need to store the results, use the AC button to set the calculator memory to zero. The M plus button lets you add the current number displayed on the screen to the amount saved in the calculator's memory. Suppose you enter 10 and then tap the M plus button so the 10 is saved in the calculator's memory. Now let's assume you have done a calculation with the result showing 50. And then you want to tap to the saved number. Tap the M plus button again. It will add 50 to 10. Now select the MR button to check the value of the memory. The M minus button functions in a similar way. The only difference is that the M minus subtracts the save number from the number displayed on your screen. And you are done. And the next step is using screen recordings. The best workarounds to retrieve a calculation history after closing the calculator app is to record your iPhone screen while performing the calculation. To record your iPhone screen, you, you can add the screen recorder option to the control center if you don't have it already. Go to settings. Scroll down and then tap on control center. Scroll down and then tap on the plus icon next to screen recording. I already added it and you are done. Now to save your calculation history, start the screen recording from the control center. Open the calculator app and do your calculations. Once done, turn off the screen recording. Whenever you want to see the calculator history, go to the photos app and play the recorded video. However, this method occupies much storage space in your device. So try to regularly delete all recordings that you no longer need. I hope this solution helped you to find the previous calculation. And also let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.